Hi everybody, Mike Brown back with you. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In this lesson, I'm going to show you a couple of neat tricks under the filter menu with the vanishing point filter. And if you know what vanishing point is, that has to do with perspective. And in this filter, we can retouch an image in perspective. And there's a way to do three-dimensional compositing. And I'm going to show you how to do both of those in this lesson. So let's get started. Here I have an image of a building shot heavy perspective with a wide angle lens. And what we're going to do just for this example is take these two windows in the center of the building and clone them up to the top. Zoom it up so you can see it. You can see that everything runs in perspective. So we could obviously, we could cut them out in a normal fashion. I think we can actually do that. Let's do it with the polygonal lasso tool and see how well it works. Just select, 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 close it off, copy, paste, and move it up. But now you see that, let's do a little transformation. We'll rotate it. But you see that it's just, even when we move up there, we could do distortion and stuff like that, but it probably wouldn't match perfectly. There's an easier way. <clears throat> what we're going to do is use the vanishing point filter. So let's take a look at our layers. We've got a duplicate layer already. We'll go to the filter menu right down below liquify oil paint to the vanishing point filter. Here it is. I'd already created a plane, but I'll start all over. This is the Create Plane tool. This is the Edit Plane. You can correct your mistakes. A Marquee Selection tool, the Rubber Stamp, a Paintbrush, Transformations, Color Picker, Hand Tool, and the Zoom Tool. So let's go ahead and zoom up. And we need to set a plane in perspective so that the filter knows what's up. So we've got the Create Plane tool, and we set down, as you see the little target, the four corners of the plane, and we set what's called a node. Let's zoom it up so we can see our edges here. Let's start right here inside this corner. Actually, let me see. That window goes out a little bit, so let's do it over here, right there. And we'll come back and follow the line of bricks in perspective all the way over to here. That works pretty well. We'll set it right on that line. Hand tool, come down and follow the, oh, I didn't move it over far enough, did I? That's all right. I'll fix it as we go along. We're going to come back down to this spot and then go over and go parallel and right in that corner. That set our plane, but the plane is a little bit off because we're coming out here. So what we need to do is edit that with the edit tool. We're going to click and drag that back over till we get to a spot there. Now we've got the plane all set. All we have to do is take our rubber stamp tool and we're going to say inside the boundaries there, and we're going to retouch the window. So we're on that line. We're in a couple, Option or Alt. And we're going to click right at the bottom corner of the window. And you can see the green target. The green says we're ready to go. And we're going to go right up. That would be, let's go right along that edge, probably right there. Let's see how that did. Nope, we needed to go a little further out. So we're going to go ahead and set that again. I started on the line. I needed to be a little out. Option. Click. There's my target. And I need to be just a little bit out. Right there should do it. And I just start cloning. And then you can see down at the bottom, down, look at the lower part of the window uh, that I'm cloning from. You can actually see the green cross. It's showing me where I'm at, so I can actually follow that edge 
pretty easily. And we just come back across and just go ahead and clone it in. It's pretty simple. And there we go. Let's get that edge nice and clean all the way up to the top. Let's go right over and take that archway out of there. Bring it back and fill it all in. There we go. I made a mistake. So we're going to pick that back up. I went too far. Okay, clean this. Down on that. I think I got it all. There we go. Zoom out. And you can see that in perfect perspective, these two windows now reside up on the top. We'll click OK. And there we have it. We'll zoom out. There's our layers. There was before. There was after. And you notice that in perfect perspective, we were able to clone from one spot to another using the vanishing point filter. So that's one thing you can do with the filter. The other, and we have now retouched in perspective. 